Hello, everyone. My name is Shane Fox, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Link3D. I've been fortunate to be a part of the industry over the past 10 years. I started my career off in topology optimization, uh, working for a software company called Within Technologies. That company was sold to Autodesk in 2014. And through that experience, that's when it became very apparent to me that our industry was focused on the investment in and around the technology itself and less on how these machines would be managed at scale. So in 2016, we launched Link3D. Uh, Link3D is an MES, QMS, and IoT platform specifically designed for the additive manufacturing workflow and value chain. Our goal is to help companies to unlock the benefits that additive promises, to help them achieve return on invested capital, and help scale the technology into the day-to-day -day supply chain. So at Link3D, we feel uh, it's part of our responsibility to enable the rapid progression of the industry's process maturity. Through the years, uh, we've had lots of conversations with, uh, with different users of additive, and, and it seemed that most organizations were stuck in a reactive and informed or managed state. Link3D, we want to help you break down that barrier and start moving you into an automated and predictive stage of additive manufacturing. So what you're seeing here uh, is how we plan to help our customers move from an automated, from a managed to an automated, and then to a predictive state of manufacturing. We're gonna talk a little bit about predictive state when we talk about our partnership with Stratasys, but first, it's really important to understand Link3D's core principles and our architectural fundamentals. Um, we believe that there shouldn't be siloed systems, whether it's hardware or software that software and hardware should communicate together and share information. That's part of Link3D's initiative. Our second is having a unified data layer. So as these systems are communicating along with the workflows that happen within Link3D's <clears throat> value chain, as you see here, this information is stored and can be aggregated from one place to help organizations make better uh, manufacturing decisions and alleviate bottlenecks and, and move forward with process uh, and quality improvements within their production line. The third uh, is configurability. Additive is still an emerging technology. There's always new things being introduced, new ways of manufacturing, new processes, new materials, new qualification programs, and traditional systems are heavy duty and they don't have configuration. They have to go through mass customization projects, which are costly to, to, to the customer um, and a lot of times fail. So when we built Link3D, we built our system on almost 100% configurability. So users can scale up as they introduce new processes uh, in order to uh, achieve production ready parts. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the most exciting. Link3D is about to release a IoT platform called AM Watch. Uh, Stratasys has been a phenomenal partner uh, and the Stratasys machines are some of the first uh, uh, drivers to be uh, installed and in, in actually working in customers' environments today through the AM Watch platform. So I'm actually gonna take a moment and give a sneak peek of a few things. So what you're looking at here, this is Link3D's machine connectivity dashboard. So what users will be able to do um, is this data will be collected and it will allow for in pseudo quality assurance monitoring, um, as well as uh, tracking and retrieving historical print data. And that could be used to speed up R&D efforts it can be used to reduce the time and cost for new product introduction programs, which is you know, a, a huge, huge cost to most organizations to justify additive. And it can also allow for the support of qualification programs. Um, we all know that you know, manufacturing industries have stringent part certification requirements. Um, and we believe that this system is the future um, to enabling statistical process control um, and ultimately reduce the ongoing quality assurance that these really tightly regulated industries have to follow. The second um, is with the AM Watch and, and the Stratasys partnership is around our production queue and our production scheduling. So here you can see we have a Fortis uh, 400 and actual jobs running um, as we speak. Um, 
this is very exciting because what it's going to allow customers to do is essentially three things. Understand the queue state. How can they share capacity amongst resources, either on site or on other sites? So being able to maximize the capacity is obviously a huge uh, return on invested strategy for a lot of organizations. The second is the machine state. Not only is my machine on or off, how much material am I consuming? And what state and to completion am I in? And the third, um, which we've heard a lot of customers requesting, is around predictive and preventative maintenance for the machines. Uh, this connectivity strategy will start to allow our customers to do that. And ultimately, by collecting the historical data and having <clears throat> smart production queues and dynamic planning and scheduling, this will allow us to start helping customers to move into the next stage after automated, which is the predictive state of additive manufacturing. Uh, I'm honored and I'm really excited to have been able to record this video for all of you and uh, I'm excited to answer any questions that you may have.